Hi guys, this is Holly Ann Casper, the Radical Imperfectionist, and today I wanted to talk about not uh, maybe going a little bit further on the idea of other people's opinions. So I talked about how other people's opinions are not actually our business and they're not our fault and they're not our responsibility. They're not something that we can change or should try to change. But on the other side of this, I guess it's not the, really the other side, but going further into this is the idea that uh, not only are they gonna have opinions, but there's gonna be a lot of people that don't like you. That idea for me has always scared me. That has always controlled a lot of my actions. So much of my life and the actions that I've taken and the, the thoughts that I've had and the things that have consumed me had to do with whining, wanting the acceptance of others and sort of snowballing into the idea that I had to have the acceptance of everyone, which is impossible and incredibly anxiety producing. Um, and I think it's incredibly important because the thoughts, the narratives that run in our head a lot of times have to do with other people's opinions and the ideas, these are, this is my opinion, and the ideas that we think are judging whether or not other people like us, despite whether they do or not. It's interesting because I was talking to my sister the other day and she brought up the idea that if I'm really going to do this, if I'm really going to try to get my message out there um, and be really authentically real in me and put my pictures on the internet and all of these things that I'm going to share that are not to do with a career, but they're to do with like my life experiences and the ways I've messed up and what I'm struggling with, that is so vulnerable. And if I can't handle people not liking me, then this is not for me. And I got to back out now. And she actually um, is the most amazing woman because she said that. She was like, this is, this is a moment of choice. You're either going to lean into this and you're going to give it your all and you're going to be real or you back out now. And that was scary because I am loving the journey that I'm on, but I'm also realizing that I, I realized in that moment I didn't know if I could handle that. And I don't know if at this very moment I can handle all of what that might bring, but I know I can lean into it and I know I will handle it and I will get stronger. And I do know that the more that we continue to accept ourselves and grow, the more that we hold our own shape and learn what our own shape is and don't conform to those around us, I feel like the more we start to get to know who is in there, we stop hiding what is us, the essence of us, and even if we still care what other people think, uh, the pull, the draw of that reduces, and the temptation to allow those thoughts of caring about other people's opinions loses its force, its power within our lives. So. Anyway, this is hard for me and it's something I've been thinking about, but I think that it's something powerful that everybody should kind of consider. The idea that people are not all going to like you and the idea of letting go, not just their opinions, but the weight of trying to make sure everybody likes you so that you can embrace yourself and love yourself. Because if I think so many of the reasons we don't embrace and love who we are is because we are assuming all of these ideas that our culture has and we are trying to conform to it so that we can find the acceptance of the people around us. But if we don't do that, if we can find our acceptance within and with God or whatever we believe, we don't need it from everyone around. And when you have it from a few core incredible people, the rest doesn't matter because those are your people. So I hope that you find this helpful and I really hope that you'll share with me whatever you're comfortable with, but um, how this has maybe impacted your life. I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Holly Ann Casper, The Radical Imperfectionist.